Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are watching this. This is the very first instructional video of the very first song that I ever wanted to learn how to play on the guitar, Lead Belly and Nirvana's Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Now, the first time I ever heard this song, I was listening, probably like most of you, to Nirvana's Unplugged. And I watched Kurt Cobain play that upside, gu upside down guitar of his, and I thought, you know what, I can do that. Well, the answer was, no, I couldn't. Uh, and it wasn't until I put in a lot of time and a lot of practice to get those chord progressions right that I was finally able to make a passable attempt at this song. But... All of the work that I put into that and all of the work that I put into trying to figure out how to move my hands, I learned all of those things so that you can figure out how to play this song a little bit faster. It really is a pretty simple song. It's just four basic chords played with a really basic strumming pattern, which when you're just starting out, none of that seems basic and easy. But we're going to break this down little by little to help you learn how to play Where Did You Sleep Last Night? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go over the chords. And we're going to come into close-up so that you can actually get a chance to look at the front of the guitar. Everything starts off with an E minor. And you do that with your index finger on the A string, your middle finger on the D string, and you strum all of those strings together. It sounds sad, like 2020. That's... The E minor is the 2020 chord. And that, that chord is really the bass that you're always going to come back to with Where Did You Sleep Last Night. We're going to go and we're going to cover the walk up a little bit in just a minute. But the next chord that you're going to need to progress to is the A. Now, a lot of people who are teaching you how to play guitar are going to say that this is crazy that this is crazy talk what you're looking at right here. Two fingers playing an A chord. Well, you know what? The thing of it is, my fingers are just way too sausagey to be able to do an A chord in any other way, right? So what you do is you take your index finger, at least I do, I take my index finger and I put it on the D chord, on the second fret, the D string on the second fret. I take my middle finger and I put it on the G string of the second fret, and I just press down the B string on the second fret as well with both of those fingers, okay? If you can't do that, right, if that's not comfortable for you, you can mash all of your sausages onto that fret. That's no problem. Or if you're really clever, you can do that, right? But for me, when I was learning to play, it was most easy for me just to use two fingers on that A chord. So we have E minor, very sad, to A, which is a little bit more excited, up to G, now G, okay, this is the rock G. This is no frills. This is a classic chord that you just need to know. And you can play it in a bunch of different ways if you want. But the way that this song makes most sense to hear it played is with the G chord like this. And so you take your index finger here, you put that on the A string of the second fret. You take your middle finger right here, you put it on the E string of the third fret, and you strum it, okay? So all together, we have E minor. We have A, we have G. And the last chord that you're gonna need for this song is a B, and this B stands for the bane of every new guitarist's existence, right? But it's really not that hard. There are a lot of ways that you can play it, but the way that makes most sense, I think, for this song is to take your index finger, to put it on the A string of the second fret, to take your pinky finger, which this stretch might be a little bit difficult for a new guitarist, but you'll get there, because you have to, and that is on the D string of the fourth fret, okay? And you strum just the first three or four strings there. Nobody's gonna judge you if you miss it and hit something else, right? And that B sounds also a little morose, just like the rest of the song, okay? So we have that E minor. We have the A, G, B, and back to E minor. Now we'll come back out and we'll take a look at a wide shot here and we'll get the strumming pattern down before we do the walk-ups. Those are those cool da-da-da-da that you hear, okay? All right, so the strumming pattern for this song is really simple. It is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 
up down up down down up 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 down down up down up down up down up down up down down up down down up down Now that little embellishment that's at the end of that, right? Those are the things that really make the song. Because if you've ever tried to learn to play the guitar just by looking at notations or tab, it's really confusing sometimes when you're like, okay, well that's a that's an E minor, but what do I do? Like how do I break that up? It just sounds like kind of monotonous. And this is where it's almost certain that you will lose boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, anybody else who hears this over and over and over again, right? But you've got to practice that in order to be able to move your hands, move your fingers to the next chord in time, okay? If you don't practice those chords one at a time, E minor to A to G to B to E minor, the song's never gonna really sound right, okay? So you have to practice that. All right, so I promised you the walk-ups, we'll do that too, all right? So we'll come close in again. That special sounding little walk up that really makes the song is an open E that's the very thickest string at the top and you hammer on with your index and your ring or your middle finger right on that E string but you're not done because right after you do that you move immediately immediately to your A. So, and that's it. Now that sounds maybe really hard to you right now, but it is not, I promise you. With a little bit of practice, that will become second nature. So, we have E minor. The end of that where we break up the monotony of the song with a down down to get you back to that E minor so we're at our B chord down 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 and what you're doing is you're bending that E string down pulling off right into your E minor. And that's really all there is to it. So we're gonna widen back out. We're gonna play the whole song slowly and then at speed for you so you can practice along. And now, at full speed, with lyrics. Where Did You Sleep Last Night by Lead Belly and Nirvana. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me Tell me where did you sleep last night In the pines, in the pines Where the sun never shines I shiver the whole night through Her husband was a hard-working man Just about a mile from here his head was found in a driving wheel But his body never was found Well, my girl, my girl, don't lie to me Tell me, where did you sleep last night? 
In the pines, in the pines Where the sun never shines I shiver the whole night through My girl, my girl, where will you go? I'm going where the cold wind blows In the pines, in the pines Where the sun never shines I shiver the whole night through Oh, my girl, my girl, don't you lie to me Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, the pines, the sun, the shine, and I shiver. You can absolutely play the guitar. You can absolutely play for your friends, for your family, until they m try to make you stop. Um, and what we've got here is enough of a lesson that you can get out there. You can learn this song and you can play it around a campfire. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you are ha having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and that you're safe and well. Thanks for watching. And please, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep making more of these. Take care. Have a great time.